Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Satyaki and I always make video about study work tourism in Europe. So today I will meet one guy. He is from Calcutta and he got an admission to the University of Europe. He will tell you that what kind of obstacle he faced when he applying different different universities and also applying for visa procedure. So he will tell you everything. So let's start. So finally I meet this guy. Uh, his name is Indranil Pathak. So Indra, just <clears throat> do one thing, tell everything that about your education background and your professional background and how you choose that university, UE, especially UE, why UE and what is the procedure to get the admission and how you came to the journey, so how the journey kind of shape. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, guys, I'm a Bengali. My name is Indranil Patok. My hometown is Krishnagar, but I lived in uh, Shodhpur and I studied hospital management uh, from Shodhpur uh, uh, Institute of Technology. And, and I, uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, even I have also done my graduation hotel management from Gurunanak Institute of Hotel Management. So yeah. actually he is my junior. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, after th after that I worked uh, lots of hospital like that PLS Hospital, Apollo Clinic and mm -hmm. the Fortis Hospitals is also. But um, one thing that uh, after uh, seven years of experience, uh, I decided that I came to Germany for uh, for my masters. So um, I decided that uh, f f uh, in UE, UE, I mean University of Europe for Applied Sciences, it is one of the best university and one of the top ten business university in Germany. Then I applied in different university like Arden, like GISMA, and uh, like BSBI also. And uh, they all told me that it will take minimum one month. So uh, uh, luckily I got from admission letter from University of Europe for Applied Sciences uh, within, within, within uh, seven days. So I decided that I will go to University of Europe for Applied Sciences. And what's your study actually currently? Actually, I'm studying here Masters of Business Administration. Okay. It is one year courses. It is also uh, 18 months in university, but I choose one year courses. And I came uh, in Berlin because of Berlin is a... Uh, you can say the business hub, business industrial hub. hub. So that's why I choose here lots of... Um, opportunities over here so and the university of europe for applied sciences has another uh, two, two campus in germany is israel and uh, and hamburg and in also in berlin but i choose berlin because berlin is one of the most renowned place in germany and it is a capital and it's a business hub so it had lots of uh, opportunities are over here so that's why i came in berlin and after getting my admission later uh, i applied for my visa and please i'm suggesting you that don't go any consultancy or any other um, any other person for visa applying and also visa booking okay um, uh, you have to choose uh, in your own pathway so mm -hmm. that's why i think it will be better if you apply directly apply directly so Indro, yeah. now you tell me that what is the criteria for getting admission, especially from your background? And second question is that English proficiency test. What they uh, what is the requirement for English proficiency test? Like IELTS, TOEFL, or any other uh, English proficiency test? They ask exam. Uh, yeah, exam. They ask uh, which is specially authorized by the university. Please tell me about that. Yeah, actually. Uh, the base requirement is uh, minimum three years experience if you have uh, entered in a, any kind of master degree like MBA in any other um, master's degree so I have almost seven uh, years ex of experience in hospital industry so th that's why I took easily and um, and I got uh, my band in ILTS 7 band so after uh, after showing this result mm -hmm. the university told me that you uh, you have to give um, efact exam it is uh, english proficiency exam so finally and luckily i got my result uh, in c2 english proficiency exam c2 c2 okay 
so uh, and is there any charges for that for no no there are uh, no charges for that university will give you a link and mm -hmm. then uh, you have to give the exam so that means that university also uh, judging you that how proficiency you have to yeah. complete that according to your result university will judge you uh, that's a good yeah. thing yeah so actually i don't know they don't believe ilts or not but i have to and you also i think you uh, if you come in uh, university of europe for applied sciences you have to give efact exam also okay so and uh, final question is that uh, the what is the education fees for mba and yeah. ue actually uh, in ue uh, there are uh, two different mba program uh, it's uh, one duration is uh, one year and the next uh, duration is 18 months i mean one, one year, year six, six months. months one and a half so, years course yeah almost so uh, if uh, if you will get uh, one year exam i mean mba one, one year mba program mba program so uh, you have to give 13000 uh, euro for this program okay and 225 is for your uh, registration fee no 225 is uh, is of your uh, public transportation okay so it's almost 225 euros for public transportation yeah. i mean for a entire a year entire month entire month to six months enter six months okay enter six months yeah. 225 euros for, okay for public transportation because uh, if you will get admission for one year then you have only two uh, only two semester okay. the first se semester will be conduct for six months mm -hmm. and the next to next semester will be conduct for six months okay but that so uh, 225 give... euros is mandatory i need to give yeah. because if yeah. i if i don't want that i have my own bike or any cycle so no can... no because there are uh, lots of university who will not provide you uh, the public transportation like that uh, arden and like that bsbi also i think i'm not sure about bsbi but i'm sure about arden mm -hmm. uh, arden will not providing you any kind of uh, public transportation card okay so university of europe is a uh, um, university of europe will give you this type of opportunity okay when you enter the university of europe you have to give 225 euros okay fine for public so, transport it will get very easily when you travel uh, any uh, any and, part of uh, berlin any part of berlin and uh, and uh, it will valid um, berlin a berlin b and berlin c also okay c that's zone. super nice okay berlin a b c because i have uh, my uh, transportation card but which is only valid a and b zone not for yeah. c zone but if i go for traveling to the c zone area then i have to pay extra for that so that's a nice thing that for a b c you just completed i mean well, only 225 euros you are complete a b c zone for six months for six months that's super nice so and uh, how is that? I mean, a procedure, you told me that 30, 13,000 euros for yeah. your uh, one year course. So how are you paying the amount at a time or every month or semester wise? Semester wise, you have to pay semester wise because uh, first of all, uh, when I got an opportunity from University of Europe for Applied Sciences, mm -hmm. then, then I um, paid my uh, past semester fees okay. and um, 6,000 6,700 something. something. Okay. So and so after getting all the procedure, I mean after done all the procedure like getting admission from the university, confirmation letter from the university, then how you app, I mean after opening your block account, everything has done. Then tell me one thing that how you applied for your visa procedure, where mainly people get lot of frustration because people not getting the slot to get yeah. a visa appointment. Yeah. So how you do that? Uh, first of all, uh, you have to go VFS website mm -hmm. then you have to book and uh, i think uh, it m most of the people are are going to waiting list mm -hmm. so luckily and i'm blessed that i will get uh, and i'm getting my uh, my visa appointment mm -hmm. within five or six minutes yeah so i think that's a luck, luck, by, chance. luck by chance luck by chance <laughs> Anyway, uh, Indranil, thank you that you have given your valuable time with me and to my friends who want to come to Germany. Yeah. And you people have any query, definitely you can comment to the you can give a comment to the comment section or you can directly follow me to my Instagram ID or you can send me directly message over there. And if I have any when I have a free time, definitely I will get back to you. I'll reply you. 
and those who subscribe and like my videos thank you so much and those who didn't please do that because your support motivate me to make more informative videos so and jara kolkata or bangladesh theke dekhcho taderke oshongkho dhonnobad and tumra amake please support koro and thank you so much and be safe and please subscribe bengal to berlin yeah <laughs> thank you so much thank you bye and be safe